Well, I think when something as tragic as this happens, uh, it's really important to kind of come together as one and be a family and kind of go through those range of emotions that students might be experiencing. Anytime there's anything volatile or anytime the Bruin family needs to come together, it really has and it really touches me every time. Like, even yesterday I saw people who weren't really friends, people who had some issues with each other, completely came together. Like, at the end of the day, the Bruin family is very strong and we all stick together. Bruin strong. strong. So we have to, I think, in, in his memory, resolve that we have to do everything we can as a society to address the issues of violence in the society, to help with mental illness where we, where we can help, and commit ourselves as, as individuals to, to making a difference. Uh, that's the only way we can, we can, in some sense, make sense at all of tragedies like this. The campus isn't defined by its buildings, it's not defined by its programs and its degrees, it's defined by its people. And today I see an amazing sea of people united to remember one of their own, a Bruin who proudly and strongly served this campus, the students and its colleagues who came through it. We will master specialized topics for our final exams. We will share our latest, latest research findings with our colleagues, and we will pull together to improve the human condition through the mastery of what is known and the exploration of what is unknown. Bill did exactly this every day. Bill was a Bruin through and through. This is not an event that we will quickly get over. It will take time to heal. It will take time to cope and to overcome the sadness that has cloaked our campus. But we will do it and we will do it together. Let there always be life.